Another must-see in Salt Lake City is the Utah State Capitol. My name is Sarah Howard, and I'm the manager of public relations and visitor services at the Utah State Capitol. Here in the rotunda, you can see paintings that depict important parts of early Utah history. The four large paintings at the bottom talk about the stories of the four major explorations into the early Utah Territory. The paintings that form a circle above are actually a timeline of other important stories of Utah history. And we're going to follow that timeline all the way back to when Utah's Capitol building was first built. It was actually a long process before they were able to have a state capital in Utah. Um, Utah became a state in 1896 after almost 50 years of trying to attain statehood. And then the construction for the capital didn't begin until 1912. After years and years and years of waiting, Utah finally got what they needed to build their own state capital. The biggest obstacle was money, but in 1909, a wealthy man by the name of Edward H. Harriman passed away. He was the president of the Union Pacific Railroad, which was partially incorporated as a company here in Utah. So when his wife inherited all of his wealth, she had to pay a tax to the state. She paid almost $800,000, and they used the bulk of that money to start the funding for this building. If this building looks familiar to you, well, you might just be seeing double. This capital is actually pretty similar to the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C., and it fits a lot of the styles of the buildings that were being constructed at the time. The dome, in particular, is really similar to the Capitol in D.C. So when you're sitting up on Capitol Hill, you'll be surrounded by tons of art and history just waiting to be explored. Regardless of whether you're a history buff or just someone who's interested in checking out the culture of Utah, I would recommend coming to the Capitol. We have a little bit of everything from history to art to people.